with energy, every 45 minutes, I'm up, I'm bouncing, I'm moving, I'm opening up all the meridians on my body. I'm taking 10 deep breaths and bouncing in place and closing my eyes to rest. That energetic movement every hour, that breath work every hour, that opening meridians every hour, it's how I'm annoying all the time. It's like, you're like, you hang out with me like, wow, that guy goes all day. And he's just, he's in it all day. I had to train that. You're training your focus right now. You're training your energy. Energy. Mental and physical and spiritual strength or vibrancy. I just call it energy in high performance training. What is my energy? Do I have the energy to serve? Do I have the energy to focus? Do I have the energy to go to the gym? Do I have the energy to be nice to my spouse and my partners and my friends? Do I have the energy to do the work today? Like for me, when my energy is low or it is dipping, I always, always go, what is causing that? It's almost always two things. It's almost, if my energy dips low in the day, I always know there's two culprits. One, something happened that bothered my brain. I got annoyed, frustrated, or hurt by something. I got annoyed, frustrated or hurt by something. And it happened recently. It happened in the last day or two. And it's affecting my energy right now. Your energetic state right now is a hangover. Your mood right now is a hangover effect. Not always negative, it can be positive. But it's, it's an effect of something, right? Input, output, cause, effect. That's real. So I'm like, okay, well, what, what has hooked me? What has angered me? What has frustrated me? And then I'll do something like Byron Katie's um, teaching on the work. And I'll just flip the question or I'll flip the feeling. I'll say, okay, what would my life be like without that thought? Is that thought true? What's the opposite of that thought? And I'll just question those things that annoy me, frustrated, or hurt me. And then I'll do the physical work again of releasing those things. And if I need help with releasing those, many of you guys know, I love and invested in the tapping solution. So I'll just tap. I'll just go into my mind for those who know tapping and I'll just do a tapping routine. For those who want to learn tapping, you can learn it in the growth day app. There's a course in there on it already. And so I'll just do something physical to release that tension. But again, I said, there's two reasons probably for my low energy is one, something mentally or emotionally, you know, it hooked my brain and it's lowering the quality of energy I feel in life. The second one for me, which is big, is the last 72 hours of physical exercise and nutrition. It's like you feel right now what you consumed and how you moved in the last 72 hours. Most people think it's only during the day. No, the the food you ate three days ago, that's still in your body the supplement, the nutrition from that, uh, the macros from that, whether you burned it off or not, the energy, the energetic effect culminates one day, two days, three days. And that's why sometimes people, if you've ever done a, a cleanse or something, you don't feel that much different in the first day or two, but by day three or four, you start like getting like this amazing clarity. Why? That 72 hour cycle of biology that we humans have. It's why When I know I'm going to teach a seminar to y'all, like I'm going to go, you know, like I've been blessed to, uh, a lot of the industry knows, we teach the single two hardest events in the world. When it was High Performance Academy and then Certified High Performance Coaching, these are literally nine hours a day on stage, often by myself uh, and used to be, now I've got a little smarter about it, but it was intensely difficult. And if you see me on stage, I'm not sitting like I am now in this little room in quarantine, I'm like bouncing the whole time. We're dancing the whole time. I'm running back and forth, the flip chart down in the audience, walking around. I do a marathon a day in steps, jumps, and movement, right? It's unbelievable. I got to eat three times the calories to pull off each of those days. And I can tell you when I'm on stage and I'm not feeling it, I don't go, wow, what just happened last hour? I'm like, okay, What was the last three days here? When was I moving? How was I recovering? What was I eating? When was I moving? How was I recovering? What was I eating? 
And I'll run that through over and over and I'll identify. I'm like, oh, you know what? There was that one hour after that stage, I was all hyped. I didn't eat. Or, oh, you know what? There was that time. Uh, you know what? I, I should have I spent another 20 minutes uh, meditating or sleeping. Or I just run back. So I want you to do that. Anytime you don't feel well, I really want to cue you to develop the habit. This is like my advanced habit. If I don't feel well, I'm like, okay, 72 hours. What hooked my brain or my ego, maybe frustrated, angry, upset? Let me release that right now. That's the first thing, a release technique again. Second thing is, okay, have I moved and what did I eat? So it's like, oh, on Friday, I had those three glasses of wine versus that one. Got it. That's a lingering effect. Uh, okay, that's good. That's good to know. Or, oh, you know what? I really just wanted to cheat and I did, but now I'm really, I'm paying for it. And listen, I'm not here to judge anybody. Whatever you want to eat, consume, the stuff that you do, not my business. My business is reminding you of wellness is experience of life and you have either defined what wellness looks like and feels like to you or you have not. And because I have, this is so important to me. I hate when I don't have this. Lacking energy to me is so painful that I structure my life to ensure I have it. I, I don't know about you, but I've laid in hospital beds for days. I don't know about you, but I've served in hospice and saw people who couldn't get out of bed and had their last breaths. I don't know about you, but I've had those times on stage or service or moments with family or friends when I didn't feel energy. And because I didn't feel energy, I didn't do a good job for them. And I hated those moments. I want to do a good job for people. And I think to do a good job for people, I got to care for my energy. And so I always tell people, if you haven't gotten healthy for yourself yet, do it for the people around you who are getting the shrapnel of your bad energy. Bad energy, negative energy, there's shrapnel from that. There's emotional trauma from that. There's stuff from that that we got to make sure we release and not hold on to. And I know you guys know all this, but I hope it helps you. You're... The practice I have is a 72-hour assessment of my energy. Whenever I dip, I'm like, let me do my little 72 hours. Where was my ego hooked, annoyed, or hurt? Let me let that go. What was my fueling routine, my movement routine? Oh, no wonder I feel like crap. I've been sitting for three days. Oh, my back is mad. I forgot to stretch I didn't open up my body and my breath with a workout, a walk, a bike, a run, a hike. I didn't move. No wonder. Oh, gosh, let me go. Oh, come on, honey, let's go for a walk. And just get, get that movement back in. Get that movement back in. For those who've studied me with high performance work before, I recommend like a two by two or a three by three. Uh, all that means is like every, you know, twice a week, you do a, you know, high intensity workout at least twice a week or three times a week. You do uh, three times a week, you do a, you know, 60, I'm sorry, a two by two is once a week, you do uh, a, a hit training and once a week, you do a 60 minute cardio training. That's a two by two. Um, a three by three is you're just adding more to that. So you're doing a, uh, like a one, uh, uh, one session hit, one session long cardio, one session, some other type of movement that you love to do that just opens up your body and gives you flexibility, maybe like a yoga or something. But whatever your routine is, did you move? Everyone knows the number one challenge to long-term health is nutrition and movement. Number one and number two. And people always say, no, 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 it must be sleep. I'm like, number one and number two are the greatest weapons you have for greater sleep. It is your nutrition and it is your physical movement that gives you the ability to sleep well. Now, guess what? When you have reverence for life and you're releasing that tension throughout the day, emotionally, letting go of that ego or that hurt, now you sleep like a baby. Like I've been blessed with sleep for a long time, not because it came natural, because I sucked at it and I said, I got to get better at this. So I changed my nutrition. I moved more. I did more emotional releasing of tension. And those are part of my days. Remember, wellness is not something you do once in a while. It is the experience of life. You, you have to do these many times a day. Also, for those who've studied for a long time, with energy, 
every 45 minutes, I'm up, I'm bouncing, I'm moving, I'm opening up all the meridians on my body. I'm taking 10 deep breaths and bouncing in place and closing my eyes to rest. That energetic movement every hour, that breath work every hour, that opening meridians every hour, it's how I'm annoying all the time. It's like you're like, you just hang out with me like, wow, that guy goes all day. And he's just, he's in it all day. I had to train that. You're training your focus right now. You're training your energy. You're training your ability to serve. It's happening right now. And it happened last 72 hours too.